Well, just across town in North Buffalo, neighbors got a chance to learn more about the results of a pilot project that had folks in the North Park area scratching their heads a few months ago. Now, you may remember that the bike lanes painted on the intersection at Parkside and Linden Avenue that caused a lot of confusion and frustration for drivers this summer. Well, that's why I headed out to a special meeting tonight where those neighbors got to hear about the study from the Department of Public Works and make their voices heard as the plans move forward. We had people kind of driving in the bike lanes a few times, people making wrong turns, people driving the wrong way, uh, caused a couple backups, some road rage incidents. A confusing crossroads getting some revisions. Sean Bulkin lives in North Buffalo. I caught up with him at an informational meeting tonight at Parkside Lutheran Church. Looking at that and having experienced, you know, the, that intersection as a pedestrian, runner, and uh, driver, I um, think it was a little bit overly restrictive. Um, and caused a lot of confusion. We first spoke about the project to reimagine the intersection of Parkside and Linden. He tells me that he's all for the changes that he's seeing. I actually like the, the revised plan that the city rolled out just now the best. The pilot, which lasted roughly three months, kicks off its interim stage on Thursday. That begins with removing the temporary barriers. Our concern come winter time, um, if any of these bollards get hit or the rubber curves get buried in any snow, we want to scale that back. It was always meant to be just a pilot during the summer, during good weather. Um, so we'll be moving to um, remove those bollards, those rubber curves, and really define the lanes for both vehicles and also pedestrians. For the next 18 months, the city will make adjustments to the intersection before moving on to its final stage. Beyond safety improvements, other residents like Deborah Goldman says that she wants this adjustment to be as attractive as possible, since this intersection is a residential neighborhood. The original pilot was not attractive, and I think it did not help the safety of the neighborhood because it was confusing to people. And so I'm hoping that we can make the street safer for pedestrians, cars, and dog walkers. In the end, the Department of Public Works will restripe the pavement and change the curb lines, which they say will cost about $3 million. The next meeting will take place in early 2024.